Hello everybody, it's your boy Twin Plays here, Magna Rita. Hope you guys are all doing amazing. Um, so today's theme is uh, you know, surfer boy, but with a little, you know, hat hat. So maybe I'm like a vacation guy. Alright, well, it's pretty hot out here. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. Today we're gonna be learning how to make a pressure play button. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna be learning how to make a pressure play button. And if you want, join the Discord in the description because we are hosting giveaways and we do help out everyone that needs their help. Um, but yeah, so Basically, we're gonna get straight into this. You're gonna go in the description. You're gonna find the model. It's gonna say like pressure plate button. Download it, claim it, whatever you want, and you're gonna just import it. So you can import this by going to your toolbox up here. Pretty simple. Um, and it's gonna look like this. Now I use this for this is for the Tycoon series. So if you gotta watch that other Tycoon videos, feel free to go watch them. Um, but basically, this pressure plate is gonna have uh, this little place. Um, I actually did a tutorial on the force field base button. So if you want to go watch that, that actually will help you um, learn how to like another like the, another way of doing a pressure play button. But as you can tell, you can actually import this into your game, your tycoon and use this if you want already. So as you can tell right here, I'm just going to show you it just uh, does that little pressure plate goes down, comes back up. So really simple. Now you can use a lot of things for this guys, a lot of things. Um, so basically, yeah, this is what I'm showing you right now. Um, uh, you could put this into your essentials and just name it cash collect, but I'm going to show you how this works. So we have extras in here. We have a plate handler. We have a plate base, a region, and a plate. So the plate is the thing that's going to go down. Now, depending on how you make this, we're actually going to make uh, one ourselves. So let's do a block, okay? We're going to make one ourselves, and let's do a big one. Yeah, let's just make it big. All right, all right. Let's be, yeah, all right. No, let's, let's say that. All right. Perfect. So we can big like this, and we're going to anchor that. And we're going to make, this is going to be the plate base. So let's just name it, yeah, let's create a group real quick, guys, model. And we're going to name this plate base. So I can name this plate base. You don't even have to. I mean, it doesn't really matter. But then what we're going to do is I'm going to grab a cylinder. I like this idea. So I'm going to do a cylinder. And um, this is if you guys want to make one. Okay, so just follow along. I'll explain the script in a second here. But I'm going to make a cylinder. I'm going to just make it as big as possible, you know, making it like, like this, like a big red button, let's say. All right, it's gonna be a big red button. Um, and actually, that's a little too big, you guys. It's all right, all right. Calm down with the bigs. All right, so I'm gonna scale this down right here, and um, I'm gonna actually do it like right here. Now, what you want to make sure is you want to make sure it's like right on the bottom of it. Reason being is it's gonna be going up and going down like this. You don't want it going up and then going straight through the part. So let's make sure it's perfect like that. I'm gonna go red with this. Make sure it's anchored. Um, and then I'm gonna actually just go down just a bit. You know, I'm gonna make it neon as well. Might as well make it neon, like a big red button. Don't push it or else you're screwed. Um, so big red button like this, okay? Um, and what we're gonna do, I'm gonna just make sure I put that on the right place. And then we're gonna call it plate. And we're gonna put this inside the model. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this, okay? And we're gonna call it region. Then we're literally just going to grab the scale and we're just gonna go boop like this. All right, scale like that. Um, I don't know why the base is so tiny. I need to scale that up, guys. It's really annoying. All right, all right, looks good, looks good. Then we're gonna name this region and we're gonna transparency all the way to one. We are gonna go to can collide off, anchored on, keep that like that. Can touch needs to be on and that's it. Then we're gonna do is we grab this plate hander. We're literally just gonna paste this in here. So you're done. You're literally done by that point. So I'm actually going to get rid of this one because we don't need this anymore. But we're going to show you. So plate handler. We create, we find the plate, which is going to be script up parent. We find the region and we have this tween service right here. So this is where we're going to be basically uh, tweening it down, tweening it up, checking if they're touching, everything like that. So what happens is we set this region. Okay. If they touch the region, we're going to say humanoid root part equals table dot insert touching dot comma hit. And we're going to play that down tween and we're going to play it. Then we have the touch ended, which checks if they are touching it or not. Um, and basically region touch ended and touch touched it basically just checks if any parts are touching them. And when that humanoid root part leaves it, then we are going to play those tweens. So it's kind of weird because touch spams it. So like every time a person moves, it will spam like each body part if you print it all out. But we're basically be inserting this to the table, playing the tween, and we're gonna be good. So you can say like print here, you can say uh, touched. Um, you can do print right here. And then you could say left. Um, now I did make a little tutorial on the, uh, you know, little, uh, what can I say guys? The force field. So if you want to learn how to make like a local function on 
or like you know like you could say like local yeah and then local function off you could make something cool to this you can make like a GUI pop up you can make a you know anything a door go down it's really easy so you would just make these local functions and then you would create a local debounce debounce equals false and you would basically just check right here if um, if debounce equals false and if it is then you're just going to um, set it back to debounce equals true and you are going to then just do call that function on like this and then do the opposite for that so um, super easy actually um, but yeah so uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this little tutorial. I'm actually going to do, do a little test for you. to can show you what I mean. But um, yeah, so the tweens, though, I didn't really explain that. Um, we have the enum styles. Now, you can change this how you like. You can do bounce. You can do out. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, well, those are what we have. So if you do dot easing style like this, you see how there's all of these? You can just customize it. Do whatever you want. Bounce is the recommended. It looks nice. Um, this is how long it takes and we have tween dot out so i mean you can go here again like i said and you go in out you know whatever you want we're going we want out and what it's doing is it basically is creating this tween from the position that the play is so it's basically you're grabbing the position right where it is and it's going to change the size by the y-axis so going up and it's going to change the size down as much as you know where it needs to be um so we're going to get that ti and make sure we like change that info and everything like that so yeah pretty simple um I just play here right, play here right now, but I hope you guys are enjoying the tutorials. I have a really cool one coming up soon here. It's about the tycoons, and um, it's not free, but it's a little different. But you know, step on it, see how it went down, and it says left and touched, um, and it comes back up. So this is what I meant by uh, it's going through the floor. So I accidentally did that, but you got your big red button for you. So um, customize this to your liking, you guys. I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. Hasta la vista, I guess I could say. <laughs>